Sean Stevenson here, and I want to know, have you ever been really frustrated and making a really big deal out of something in your life, and then something happens, and everything gets put into perspective? I had that today. I was frustrated with an issue in my life, and I was really struggling with how to move forward, what to do about it, and it wasn't that big of a deal, except I was making it a big deal. Ever been there? <laughs> making little things into big things? And then I got a cell phone call from a friend of mine that I hadn't heard from in probably six months to a year. We weren't really close, but we were friends. We had hung out several times. And the phone call was interesting. Something was different about his voice. It was a little slower. And it sounds slurred. And then he proceeded to tell me he had experienced a stroke. Now he's a young guy. So this is a really unique issue. And he had to go into the hospital for a month. And he lost his ability to speak for some time. And he had challenges walking. And he had to learn how to do certain things all over again. And it was almost embarrassing how trivial of a problem I was dealing with in comparison to what my friend was dealing with. And it gave me such a matter of perspective. I mean, I was in a position where I thought, oh, it's not fair, I'm frustrated with this area of my life, and then boom, a reality check was written and cashed. And I realized I didn't have it that bad. I was making a little deal into a big deal. And I need to chill out. Because whatever it is you're frustrated with, there's a high, high percentage that you're making a, a big deal out of something that's not. We usually come together in life to deal with the big stuff and we bond through the big stuff. It's the little stuff that gets us off track. So I ask you today, what thing or things are you making a really big deal that really aren't? And what would, what could happen in your life that would automatically change everything and you would be begging for those problems again? And you don't want to manifest that, you don't want to create that, but that, that perspective, that knowing that your life could change on a dime for the worse. And then you need to be grateful for the problems that you have right now. Because you don't want to treat them in for, you don't want to treat them in for horrific challenges. Which oftentimes can happen. So I encourage you to be very grateful for what you have today. Enjoy your problems for the, the size that they are. They could always be much more painful. And truly take refuge in the fact that you have a very good life. If you're able to sit around and watch a video blog, you maybe have your sight ability, your sound, your ability to hear what I'm saying auditory wise. You have so much more in your life than you're giving yourself awareness to. And I ask that you wake up to that. I'm Sean Stevenson and thanks for watching.